G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So for those of you who don't know, um, my waste water from my fish tank actually goes onto my lawn and um, I've been having some troubles with the system. It's quite sophisticated and um, maybe a bit more sophisticated than it needs to be and it's, it's becoming thorn in my side. So I'm going to have one last hurrah at trying to fix the current problem and if not I'm going to revise the system. So let me show you what's wrong with it. Alright guys, so what happens is the water comes from my fish room and ends up in these tanks here. Um, and then it goes from these tanks through this partic through this pond filter, which I'm using as a particle filter. Um, there's a fine particle filter down there, which it goes down through and then through that filter. And then it comes to this pump. And you guys might not be able to see, but at the moment the red light is on it, and that's the failure light. So basically what's happening is the pump, is turning on and it's sucking in air and it's got a fail safe and it, it's turning the pump off. So basically, um, see that that ring there used to be on this canister and um, basically it exploded on me and I, I shattered the ring. Um, I am, I might try and actually look in to see if I can get a new ring but until then I've got these clamps which I'm going to try and clamp on the side of this but I honestly don't think it's going to work now that I'm looking at it, but let's have a try. Alright guys, so I had a look, I pulled one apart and it's an absolute fail. The gap between that bracket and, so these actually had an old purpose, I never ended up using them for what they were for, but anyway, it's not going to work. So my next option is, I've got some bricks and stuff, um, I'm kind of thinking about trying to put some bricks under the straps and pack it up and that way there's more leverage on the straps. Sorry, I didn't have the camera facing you guys very well there. Um, and then I'm going to make sure all the fittings are tight. So if you guys don't know, I actually back pressurized this once and I nearly blew my head off. So I'm a little bit nervous to do that, but I can't really see any other options around back pressurizing it again to find the leak. Alright guys, check this out, this is an interesting one. These three bricks are actually liquid nailed together. So there's a little wall here, um, and it's to stop the sand falling in there, and it's actually bricks liquid nailed together. Um, just a little ingenious thing that I did at some stage. We've all been there, and like future me is laughing at past me and my silly decisions. But... Anyway, I don't actually think this is what's leaking, to be honest. This has like a really big rubber seal in it. And um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have actually seen inside these filters. I just can't see this being the cause of our leak, to be honest. But I, I'm going to keep going with this task that I'm doing here might put that under there I need two hands kind of but I'll keep trying one handed we got it almost one handed the only problem is I can't lock that one in but that's solid as a rock I don't really know, I can't really test it, but unless we pump water back through it, which scares the shit out of me after the last time it blew up on me. But now, these ratchet straps probably less chance of that lid blowing off than, than this was. This is all deteriorated. I don't know, what do you guys reckon, do we put water back through it? The leak is obviously super duper tiny because of, it's not big enough for there to be any evidence of water anywhere. And uh, the leak's got to be up here. It can't be under there because those pipes are lower than the water level in there when even when it gets to its minimum. You know what I mean? So the the leak has to be up high because um it's sucking air in and like 
dropping the water down if that makes sense if you know you know anyway I'm gonna clean this filter while I'm here all right so change of environment guys it's new location um, I've actually decided we're gonna see if we can swap out the clear canister for the white one um, because the filter on the retic is actually outside um, to stop the chance of algae growing in it I want to put the the um, white one out there so basically just need to make sure so they're identical in size uh, we need that in there I think this would be good for me too because I'll be able to see the colour of it and um, pick when it needs replacing. Obviously I really need to pay attention here and make sure that this, I don't know if that filters in right. Might not work guys, I don't know. Let me tighten that with two hands and I'll get back to you. Alright, so it did feel a bit sus putting it on, like it didn't... It felt like it was getting tight before the rubber seal was hitting, but it's not leaking. And I've got that turned on at the moment. You can actually kind of see the water's running at that in there. I guess if I close this... Kind of tell me... Yeah. I don't want to leave that close, I don't want to build too much pressure up. Even though it's all PVC rated pipe after my last explosion, I'm a little bit nervous to like close taps and back pressurize things. Um, Alright, so that's that's all good. I definitely turn that off because we don't need to flood the shed. Alright, so now we've just got to try this one in the shed. Uh, oh, in the shed. We are already in the shed. Um, in the knot shed, so I don't know where my s my sealant goo is. Uh, all right, I'll be back. Uh oh. All right, you can't write this stuff, guys. I just tripped over the broom, which knocked that, which knocked this onto the ground. So. Knocked the end off this. Not a big deal, not a big deal. Nothing's broken. Alright, so that goes in there. On the bright side, we've got the rubber. S There's a positive here. Look, the rubber seal is out and I can lube it up. Alright, so if you don't own this, get some hydro seal from Bunnings. It's expensive, it's like $5 a tube, but like it literally lasts me six months to a year. Um, just get a little bit on all your o-rings don't use Vaseline guys please try and buy this if you can big green shed big green shed all right guys so this is why we need to fix this look at my lawn it's like dead but it's not just dead it's getting to the point where it's starting to disappear um, and um, it's all because that's sucking in air so it turns off and then I've been kind of manually doing the front but it, what I have to do is I have to turn the retic on, run it in manual mode, and then I have to hold down the reset button for like a good 30 seconds to get the pump to turn on. And um, as you can tell by the poor quality of my front lawn, I haven't been doing that religiously, and I always forget. So, oh, and also guys, I'm going to raise my lawnmower to like 20 millimeters. I'm sick of trying to keep it at 10 millimeters. Um, what was my point? Oh yeah, so... I really just need to get this retic running. I think I've said that like 20 times in this video, but. All right, is this a one-handed challenge? Can we get this on? I got the one on in the shed with one hand, didn't I? So it's just the same thing, but the opposite. And hold the camera in the right direction. One hand challenge isn't any good if the camera is not facing the one hand challenge. It's got me big, guys. Oh, oh. oh, I got it. Yeah, see, like, 
this one is the opposite it's hitting the rubber seal before it's hitting that plastic which is good that should mean we're nice and airtight Oh, and one thing I didn't tell you about guys, so that filter wasn't clogged when I just cleaned it. It wasn't even close to clogged. This little one that I had here used to get clogged once a week I had to clean it. So that one I've had on there for like a month. And so a month no cleaning versus having to clean every week. That's pretty cool. Um, so now, so that's, so this was actually on top of that. Um, and that was to stop the sun shining on the clear, clear casing but we don't have a clear casing anymore um, so that solves that problem I just really hope that that works so I don't know what do you reckon I do here guys well I know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna turn it all back on I'm gonna set that back to auto and we're just gonna test it out over the next couple of days um, We've got half an IBC of water. What day is it? Today's today's Wednesday. Tuesday. So tomorrow's actually a day off. Tomorrow is no retic. Then Friday is front lawn. Saturday is back lawn. So let's just see if this goes back to normal. If anybody wants to know my watering days, uh, front lawn's Tuesday, back lawn's Wednesday. Thursday is a day off, Friday is front lawn, Saturday is back lawn, Sunday, Monday is a day off. Um, I've had to, I've played with the days and the hours so much and I got it running perfect because basically what the thing is, I need to run it at a certain days apart and all that to, to let the water reaccumulate out of the fish room and um, I got the recipe perfect and now the recipe isn't perfect. The other thing in there, there's only half an IBC. I don't even know. Anyway, so like, I don't. I'll just see how it goes. Maybe on like Monday night, I will actually fill the IBCs up to the brim, and I'll watch it all of next week, and we'll just see. And I'll just see how it go. At this point, I think it needs a bit of a reset. Nice and full of water, and so. If I do want to fill these, I never put the hose in it. All I do is go turn the water change system on in the fish room, and it's a win-win. The, the fish get an extra water change, and it fills my IBCs. So people always say, oh, you must use so much water. Yes, it is true. I do use like 1,500 litres of water a day. Um, what's that? That's seven. That's 10,500 litres a week. So um, by not having my sprinklers hooked up to my um, scheme water I've actually got 300 square meters of lawn so um, I'm actually probably saving like five to six thousand liters a week just in not putting scheme water on my lawn so in your general household even though I am using more water than somebody without the fish tanks um, I, I'm honestly probably only about 2,000 liters a week over what your household uses um, if you don't have a fish room if you've got a fish room you probably use the same as me but anyway guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you like seeing the technical side of things drop a comment let me know I know there's a fair few of you that really enjoy the technical side and maybe even like the the green side um, I use the word green just because I'm recycling something um, but I, like my fish room is so economical like I would go down, I only know of one fish room that's more economical than mine and his fish room is actually a commercial fish farm so like I, I, I honestly send me a power bill and we'll have a competition and um, I'm calling you all fish room owners out if you've got a power bill that the power or power, we'll say power and water bill combined versus how many liters of fish tanks you got and like the cost per the dollar per month per liter um i'll work it out if somebody wants to work that out and send it to me i'll work mine out and i'll send it back to you and we'll have a competition because i honestly think i'll be really hard to beat in that department but anyway guys give video a thumbs up Subscribe for more down the bottom there if you enjoy this and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out